to Terra Spatial. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download precipitation data from CHRS. CHRS stands for Center for Hydro Metrology and Remote Sensing at uh, University of California. After opening the browser, type in CHRS data portal and hit the button search. So you can see the first link CHRS data portal. I'll be giving this link in the description. Please check it out. So click on this link. So this is the uh, web page. And you can see some options over here. Map layers. You can choose the uh, divisions accordingly. For example, if you are interested in political division, you can select it. And you can see the political division has been arrived. Likewise, if you was if you want watershed, you can choose watershed. Just uh, small information. You can also uh, change the uh, background satellite to a normal view like this. Or if you are comfortable with this uh, satellite, you can choose satellite. Now coming to the data. So here we are going to download the precipitation data. You can see. There are around uh, five data sets is available. So the first is Persian. So it estimates the precipitation from remotely sensed information using artificial neural network. Artificial neural network. And it provides the resolution. You can see the rainfall rate at uh, 0 0.25 degree into 0 0.25 degree that is approximately 25 kilometer by 25 kilometer and uh, yeah you can see the coverage so it is uh, 60 degree south to 60 degree north and the data is from 2000 to present it is uh, a real near time with a two day delay so you won't be getting the data in real time if you want it for today you won't be getting it uh, you'll be getting it to after two days and you can see the uh, availability of the data at various level hourly three hours once six hours and daily next is a uh, persian ccs so persian ccs is a cloud classification system So it is a real-time global high resolution. So the resolution of the raster set will be 4 km by 4 km. You can see the availability of the data. It is available from January 2000, uh, 2003 to present. And it is also available for hourly, 3 hours, 3, uh, three hours. 6 hour daily, monthly and yearly. So this uh, data has been uh, prepared using an uh, that is a variable threshold cloud segmentation algorithm. Now going back to the next data that is a Persian CDR. So this is uh, a near global uh, 37 years plus high resolution precipitation data sets. So if you are interested in a long term study, you can use this data and it is available. So it has been given in 0 0.5 degree, 0 0.25 degrees. That is nothing but uh, each pixel will be color, uh, covering around 25 by 25 kilometers. You can see here from Jan 1983 to present the data sets is available and the coverage is 60 degree uh, north to 60 degree south. You can see the resolution 25 by 25 kilometers and it has been given in a daily, monthly and yearly format. And this data is available up to 2023, I think so. I have uh, checked it till uh, 2021, it was there for me. For example, if you want to da download it from us for uh, six months, 
you can download it but uh, it will take some time to get process it will take around 15 to 30 minutes you'll be getting your uh, you'll be getting an update in the email where you will be given a um, link to download those data you can see here latest updated september 2020 now going back to the pdir now so it is a uh, so this is also uh, real time data for example if you want to uh, if you want to download it for uh, today the current day you can download the data sets it is available in real time and uh, you can see here the precip precipitation estimation is from remotely sent information using artificial neural networks it is a dynamic using a dynamic infrared rain rate real time there is a pdir now it is available in at a global level higher resolution that is a 4 by 4 kilometer each pixels will be covering 4 kilometer by 4 kilometer And it is uh, comparatively better than the other data types because uh, it is uh, reliance on high frequency sampled IR imagery, which is uh, for every 15 to 60 minutes. You'll be getting uh, the image uh, acquired will be more so that the result will also be better. You can see here the main advantage of the PDIR now compared to the other real time precipitation data sets is it is reliance on high frequency sampled IR imagery so high frequency sampled image uh, IR imagery has been taken so that's why it's better than the other uh, format so each format has its own merits and demerits uh, you can use this image because it is uh, having high frequency of uh, data acquisition as well as uh, it is having a better resolution and it is available from the year 2000 to present so now we are going to see how to download this data sets first is we are going to select the data sets so I am going to use PDIR now because that is uh, better for me it is having a better accuracy and it is available in real time and you can check the uh, option time step so here I will be choosing daily and in the domain I am going to choose so you can see here you can select it for the whole world you can you can draw a rectangle and select the region or you can select it by country wise you can select it by political division let me show you an example I am going to select country now you can see here the country boundaries will be highlighted and I, I, I'm just interested in downloading for uh, the South India so I'm going to choose India we just have to click on the yellow color uh, highlighted boundary it will be chosen so you can verify it because the chosen country will be uh, selected in orange color you can also select it using a uh, user shape file you can see here you can upload a ESRHA file or a KML file or KMZ file or GeoJSON let me close it so going back to the country level selection now I am going to select India after selecting it you can see here visualization date time so I am going to select the date and time sorry only date so December I am going to choose December 4 because that period received a uh, enormous rainfall in the uh, southern India so I am going to hit the button visualize so it will be taking a few seconds in order to load the data so you can see here the data has been loaded and you can have a good look at this data how it is looks uh, how it looks like you can turn on the legend you can see here the legend has been brought in and you can see the uh, rainfall in millimeters for example 
the region which uh, which is in a uh, uh, yellow color received 25 to 30 mm of 30 30 mm of rainfall you can custom customize this legend by clicking this custom legend option here you can choose the uh, minimum and maximum value and select the increment increment is nothing but the range for example it can be maximum you can select 30 and finally if you hit the button plot the values will be changing if you want you can just try it try it out so here the next thing is that i'm going to go to the option download in order to download this data i'm going to select download and here you can select the uh, date time so i have chosen just for one day i have chosen you can see the date so if you are using ArcGIS, you can uh, download in a TIFF format as well as a uh, ArcGrid format, any uh, any format. So I'm going to prefer TIFF format. So hit the button download. And we have to put our email address. So this is the email address and hit the button download. Now you can see here. You can just click on this file and download the data. Let me create a folder. So I'm going to create a folder. PDIR new and I'm going to save it. So the file has been successfully downloaded. Let me open it in the file manager and I extract the file here and let us open the ArcGIS tool. So add to add data, sorry, go to add data and this is the image which we have downloaded. Let me add the image. We don't have to worry. So it is test the reference system, spatial reference is there. Now right click in and go to the option properties. Here you can choose the symbology. So I'm going to choose this one. Let me select invert. You can see 198 that is nothing but 198 millimeters. Now let us click apply and give OK. You can just see here. So my area is my area of interest in South India. So likewise, you can download the data sets. You can also in, uh, inspect the values. Now going back to the uh, CHRS portal. So here, now let me download it for uh, yeah daily, but uh, let me specify some uh, time, for example, I need it from August month to December 5th. So this is the date which I am interested in, period which I am interested in. So you can see the uh, time step. So I have chosen daily. If you want, you can choose monthly. Anyways, now hit the option download. Once again, we have to give our email ID. Hit the button download. So you can see here successfully added to uh, requested queue. So it will be taking around a maximum 15 to 30 minutes. We can download the data. So let me check the mailbox. So you can see here within uh, two or three minutes, the data has been available. Now you can just click on this link and download the data. And hit the button save. So now the data has been downloaded successfully. Let me extract this file. You can see here. So I have used uh, from August month up to December. 
you can find those file easily because for each uh, day there is a separate image has been given you can see here this is 2023 month is 8 and date is 01 for uh, each day for the around four months the the data has been given so let us open it in the arcgis and let us visualize it add data daily you can see enormous image has been given because we have chosen four months four four months period and we have chosen daily so this much of our image will be available this is for uh, 2023 august 01 let me add this image properties once again you can choose the colors scheme apply click ok now you can see here there was range uh, in the month of august there was rain for in the eastern part of india so likewise you can do now let's go back to the chrs portal here instead of uh, daily you can also download it for monthly so that you don't have to process uh, tons of uh, images together you'll be getting the monthly total if you want you can select yearly if you are uh, aiming for uh, 20 years 30 years 10 years you can choose accordingly if you are interested uh, for a longer uh, duration you can use the uh, Persian CDR data sets. It is available for 37 years. The resolution is around 25 kilometer by 25 kilometer. So if you have any other doubts, you can just ask in the comment section. So before go finishing it, I'm going to show you another uh, thing. So you can see here, this is a PDIR, new data sets. And this is a this is a CCS. This is the Persian. You can see the resolution difference. This is CDR. So likewise. So thanks for watching. Goodbye, everyone.